Welcome to my channel. I know I've been slacking pretty much like really hard. It's just I'm trying to struggle. I'm trying to manage doing YouTube and work at the same time and my schedules like collide completely and I normally go live like every Saturdays and Sundays like how I used to but then I stopped that too because I found working every single day and you know I have we have this system in my job where it's, um, you're on four days and you get one day off, off every single week. It's different. And when you hit Fridays, not only do you have Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, but you also have Monday off. And throughout those points, I still found out that like it was a struggle to even contribute with YouTube just a little bit. Like Posting shorts was an issue, but going live, doing vlogs was more of a big aspect and struggle in the life of working full-time and being a mom you know because those come first i gotta work to provide for my child make sure she has what she needs in this video like said on my community feed if you did not see it which most of you probably did see it um i did say i was gonna make a vlog video telling you how i did this crazy hair growth and a lot of weight loss and we're gonna get right to first starters with the weight loss what i managed to do was i knew i was getting like really chubbier over the time and i knew that because i am asthmatic and i kept feeling like i was losing my breath every so often whether it's walking to my job and i had to walk up a hill and that was a complete struggle for me every one of my clothes that i had did not fit and instead of throwing them out i did keep them because i was like you know what i'm gonna start this weight loss journey um i would constantly look at myself in the mirror sometimes and i would hate myself because i'm like oh my god like you know you're very chunky you're getting you know fat which there's nothing wrong with you being a plus size like everyone for themselves but when you feel like that that's not you and you're not comfortable you can change it you could definitely change it well what i found out what was better for me um i went to the doctors and they told me for my age since i'm still young i'm 26 they told me that i should be at least in like my 140s like 140 pounds for my age preferably. they still called it obese now i was at that point like 175 yeah they considered that obese which i could see why but like i said to each his own i'm gonna say first and foremost before anybody comes for me i am not making a hate video towards anybody everybody's beautiful the way they are i'm just saying how i didn't like the way i was looking okay, so they considered that level of me being 175 as obesity and it was causing a lot of health issues my blood pressure um getting into the form of almost being diabetic like i was at that marking point where they were going to announce me as being diabetic and it was it was just totally bad and they also said it was not good because since i'm asthmatic it makes me pull try to pull more oxygen into my body and it makes the heart rate go a lot faster and that can cause a lot of heart attacks and a lot of health conditions down the line which i did not need because i do want to be here for my child you know like she's my main prior priority and i feel like i can't leave her behind you know not that i feel like i can't like i cannot leave her behind at all so let me rephrase that before anybody says anything but i started taking action when i noticed i was at work and i was ordering a lot of fast food all the time i'm talking about mcdonald's every day i was having mcdonald's i was having mcdonald's breakfast every single morning and then for lunch i was having mcdonald's again chicken nuggets french fries and a frappe and then when it came time like i was at work until six i would get like little treats here and there like i'll get 7-eleven smoothies or the 7-eleven drinks the gulps and then when it came i came home i would just eat the food that my mom cooked here or if she ordered food i would eat that too and i was gaining a lot of weight 
so i took precaution one day and i was like you know what i looked on youtube i was trying to follow people's exercises found out i couldn't keep handling it because it was just either too intense for me at that point or like i said working and being a mom came into play like it always should and always will and i didn't find time to fit that in to my schedule plus on top of creating you know um youtube short content you know so i said you know i'm gonna minimize this for a second i ended up still doing what i was doing not like caring at that point what my doctor had told me and then i just i couldn't handle it no more i kept looking at myself in the mirror and i'm like ew like i don't like how i look like i want to change myself and stuff like that like i just i want to feel healthier i want to look healthier um you know i just i just want to be me like i just want to be as numb as like at that could be at that point i was as numb as that could be so i took it to my own hands and i said let me start playing just dance with my sister and my daughter we were dancing along to just dance on the tv downstairs and we were just having a blast like at that point we were just having a quick little fun you know bonding moment experience that i loved a lot and i noticed as i was doing that i started slowing down like what i wanted to eat like i didn't go out and buy like uber eats fast food doordash fast food or anything like that i would eat what my mom had cooked and while i was at work i stopped getting breakfast in the morning i was just like you know what i'm gonna skip breakfast and i'm gonna go throughout my day and then when i come home for lunch i will get whatever food we have here and bring it over there and eat it or i'll eat here and then go back to work and that's it like i would not get no junk food i started, started noticing little by little that i was losing just a little bit of weight it wasn't heavy it was just like a little bit of weight because i noticed from my my throat my chin I noticed from here because i used to have like a like this <laughs> i used to have a double chin and then i noticed like it started going down like it started slimming a little bit more so i was like okay maybe just dance is what it is i come home from work and i'm like really exhausted and i'm like man i want to do just dance today so you know what i did i went upstairs and i said you know what let me put on a movie and let me do some sit-ups i started doing um sit-ups i don't know how much reps they are i really didn't count how much it was because i'm not gonna be doing sit-ups and counting like how long i could go and stuff like that so i would do it for 20 minutes then the next day i boosted it to 25 and then from there i just went to 30 then 35 then 40 45 to the max that i felt like i could do and with sparing time that i knew that i had to sleep early because i had to go work in the morning and i had to get my child ready for school in the morning so i was like you know what i, I got this i could do sit-ups it's not a problem like that's not that every night i would come home from work and i would just you know do my normal routine shower do what i gotta do i would lay on my floor I'll put my feet extended like an L on the bed. Like this is me and my feet are up here on the bed. And I would just constantly do sit-ups for as long as like the highest number that I could do. I would set my timer on the phone next to me, put the TV on so I'm not bored. I'm watching the TV and I'm doing my sit-ups. I'm very occupied. And then I started noticing and I started noticing. And then I started noticing even more when one of my coworkers came up to me and said, you look different. Are you losing weight? And I'm like, you, you think so like you see like don't bring my confidence up but do you think so I'm like yeah you look a little bit different like your face shape is a little bit different it's not as chunky as it was and that's when i was just like okay like i can do this this could this could be my every single day routine after work i do what i gotta do be a mom and work out every single night before i go to bed it's like i can do this i could do this so i followed up with the routine every single night and it's become a habit like an addiction you don't have a lot you know a lot of people have a lot of addiction to like alcohol like some people eat cornstarch as an addiction i had an addiction well i have i can't say had i have an addiction of doing sit-ups every night which is not bad but i've came to the point where i lost extreme too much weight that now i am looking at myself and i'm like damn i feel anorexic now it's not that bad but when i went for my last checkup um the doctor had told me like 
what are you doing like how do you losing all this weight and i was telling him like i've been taking my health serious and i've been exercising every single night i've been doing sit-ups every single night instead of consuming a lot of junk food i put an image somewhere around here showing you what i used to look like compared to what i look like now I did a hella pretty good job like I did a pretty good job fitting all the clothes now that I couldn't fit before and I'm extremely happy of how I am looking I might like certain days like if I'm like really sick I would not work out because my body is like shut down who wants to work out when they're sick there's people out there that do it not this girl I'm not doing it but when I start feeling better I start making up for those times that I was not working out because I was sick I was ill you know like look at this I used to look like this I was this chunky now look at me now now on to hair growth okay now on to hair growth so I was one person just like the picture you saw I was one person that loved to dye her hair any single color she could think of and i started of course bleaching my hair i never went to the salon i did it myself and i can tell you this splat whether it's any color blonde red blue green they're bad for your hair the bleach is bad for your hair and i know that from experience i used to bleach my hair every single time to get it red i would go back from red to black and i was like maybe i want to go red again so i'm gonna bleach my black hair that i've had for maybe like a month and a half that's what my problem was you can't constantly dye your hair and i knew that but i still did it but i still think splat is the worst bleach hair dye you could ever get so i would bleach my hair all the time i wasn't happy with it I wasn't happy with the color sometimes i would do down here like i did and you guys saw my previous um shorts and stuff like that and sometimes i do my whole hair you know my ends were flied i cut my ends i said i'm gonna leave it alone i'm not gonna dye my hair for a while dyed my hair again instead of the ends this time it was shorter now i knew i had to stop but i didn't i went shorter and that's when i knew i had fried and damaged hair i damaged my whole entire head at that point my boyfriend was calling me bald he's like you bald headed you're bald headed and i'm like damn like i love you but you call me bald head i didn't like that a lot of people were telling me like oh my god you cut your hair it's so short now yes because i messed it up you know and that was my fault because you know when you're young when you're like in your 20s or even younger you're like i'm gonna experiment with my hair i want to fit in with the crowd i want to dye my hair don't be sad go dye your hair don't be sad go dye your hair that's how i felt i was sad i dyed my hair anyways i knew i fried it so i ended up going back to black permanently and i waited and waited and waited and used jamaican black castor oil i used jamaican black castor oil the best thing you can use for your hair especially after damaging it for so long this is the best oil ever and i only got it for ten dollars and i have bought multiple of these like i have one right there do you see it right there and tea tree oil i got that one and a tea tree oil this was the best thing ever that i've ever used in my life i would apply this every single night after a shower because when you're laying down, your hair is drying, whether it's still damp and you're laying down, your hair is going to dry up. So your scalp is drying up this oil, especially obviously when you're washing your hair, you got the little scrubber sponge or the tool, whatnot. Don't come for me. <laughs> I, said. I would use the Jamaican black castor oil on my hair every single night as even I'm doing my exercise. So this was the best thing ever i used to lather it just like this i'm gonna close it just like this throughout the roots part my hair all the way to the back and then when i felt like everything was saturated rubbed it and gave myself a nice head massage then i would take a little bit more or if i had a lot in my hand a lot of excess of the oil 
I would just distribute it to my whole hair even down to my ends and back here that maybe I did not reach when I was just you know so I would run through at least three bottles and I used to go to the beauty supply store and get like six of these no joke like six of these bottles because that's how good it was and I would run through like two or three bottles <laughs> it's like that I noticed a tremendous hair growth okay my hair used to be like this short like i'm talking about george washington that's how like short it was and curly so you can imagine how weird that looked on me so applying a lot of this overnight whether i'm doing my workouts or even if you're going to the gym laying down you know applying this did justice i started to know a tremendous hair growth like my hair is very long now that it's like almost up to my butt and that's how long i'm willing to go is up to there and then i'll trim the ends but as of recently i try to dye my whole hair brown because my hair if you see the tints right now in the bottom and on the top my original hair is like a dark dark brown it's not light it's dark it's like a brownish blackish that dark and I was like, you know what? Since my natural hair color, and I haven't dyed it for that previous time as it was growing, I said, I'm gonna dye it brown. I used a different bleach. Bleached my hair twice. Yeah, you would have thought I would have learned my lesson from a while ago to stop bleaching my hair, but I didn't. And actually before that, I actually did it red at the bottom as well. You guys all saw it, especially on my lives and it was a mistake because i ended up breaking the bottom of my hair i didn't cut it i did not i just cut the small ends and then i dyed it black and did not dye it again until recently i did decide and just decided to do it brown um <clears throat> worst mistake ever and i'm gonna put the clip in because it was not brown the roots were like crazy brown while half of here not saying the full just half here like if i was to do a ponytail half up half down this side was just brown while this side was completely like dark brown i was so sad i was crying and like i said you would have thought i already learned my lesson the first time no, I did not learn my lesson the first time. I still did it like a dun dun, like a dirt dirter, you know? I still did it like a dumbass. And I ended up telling my mom to take me to CVS. And this was Monday. This was this week. I had told my mom to take me to CVS and I needed to get black hair dye. And <gasps> here we are. Jeez, no, I'm sorry. Here we are. My hair is still long, it is curly, and it's not damaged at all. I guess that time I really, when I did it brown this past couple of days, it did not damage my hair because after I had did it red, I dyed it black and left it for like three months this time. And then I ended up, yeah. So life has been a journey and adulting is really hard it is really hard but as you get used to it you know you always want the best for yourself you always want to look the best for yourself and feel that confidence sometimes you may not like how you look and it's okay to change yourself you know because obviously i've had that experience plenty of times and you never learn from it at the first couple of times but then as you get older you're like, why am I doing this to myself? I need to be more healthier. I'm going to change the way I look, you know. And for me personally, I feel like the way I look now, I'm happy with. So I don't even have to worry about like future wise of me getting like any type of surgeries or anything like that. Because that's not something I'm into at all. To each his own. Everybody out there is very, way different. But I'm pretty fine with the level of confidence that I have in myself now. And the way I look, the way my hair is, I am perfectly fine. I wanted to just share this with you guys because I felt like I've been off on YouTube for a while. And it's because I am trying to recuperate everything and try to do what's best. And try to get on as much as possible is time consuming. But I will get there. 
but thank you all for watching thank you all who've been commenting on my shorts and all that i really appreciate it thank you all to my subscribers thank you so much and if you have any other interest that you would like for me to talk about whether it's a q a or anything else please comment down below and let me know and i would definitely make a video just for that and stay tuned because i will be going live tomorrow stay tuned for that as well thank you all